Little Ryan. He's not little Ryan. He's limping Ryan. Can somebody come to the board and give us five human body parts? Come and spell it to the board. Anybody? Come to the board and spell five human body parts you know. Little Ryan, I know you can do it. Can you come to the board and write five human body parts you know? Come on, come to the board. I'll do this from here. Come out to the board now. No, no, Auntie, I'm scared. Don't laugh at me if I walk. Are you disobeying me? Out now!
very good. <laughs> At least he got it right. The eyes, yes. The head, yes. Hand, yes. Ears, yes. And the nose, that's very good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ren. Yes. He is indeed the most intelligent child in the school. Yes, what? Yes. Yes. But there's no way he will represent us in this African quiz competition. But why? It's not John. Why? My dear Fiona, oh, oh. I totally agree with you. Ha ha, John is why? We're not talking of a local competition. No. We're talking of an international competition where many African leaders will attend. Please, we need a kid that can represent us, someone that is fit, normal child. Really, it doesn't matter, but Ryan is a really sweet child. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but with a simple name. Come on. Just imagine, in front of all the African leaders, celebrities, different caliber of people. Then the MC picks up my. Um, here comes the representative of the prestigious Christie School. <laughs> Who's going to come up for us? Covenant. Limping, eh? sorry, <laughs> little Ryan. Now, so one at a time. Now, so you go, I beg go, go for beat. Please, we don't want that. <laughs> you are horrible. May God forgive you both. Why are you hating and discriminating against an innocent child? And may God forgive you too. <laughs> Limping. Ah, we can leave, we can leave. No way. We'll pick someone else. Really, really, you girls need to grow up, seriously. It was so beautiful, beautiful out there in the UK. Snows everywhere, snows falling. Cold, I was so cold. <laughs> wow. Oh God. I love the UK in the summer. Seriously. And I heard there will be more snow in the summer this season. What do you think? Really? Yes. As for me, I don't really like UK. I prefer England. Okay. Oh. I just can't wait to be like you guys who have traveled all over the world. Oh, um, sorry. Can I get your BB pin? Oh, my pin? Oh. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Um, I just remembered that I left it at home. The last time I carried it in my purse, it choked me while I was trying to bring out some British dollars from my purse. Um, <laughs> mm, yeah. She's <laughs> <good. laughs> oh, what mm. was that? The I British dollar. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Ah. Yeah, seriously. Yes. Yeah. When you go to UK, you meet a lot of people. You get connected. Hello? Yes, Sandra here. Oh my God, no. I thought he won the contest to represent the school. Oh no. Frankly, Fiona, I, I really don't understand why he's not representing. Oh no, oh no. I'm not happy with this new development, no. I'm very sure Rianne will be shattered and broken. This is going to break him. to represent the school by far and I it's okay baby we both know exactly why he's been discriminated against in school 
to just come with for him to go for the surgery in this day, will you? <sighs> Dr. Mano will say it'll cost millions. Baby, we really can't afford that right now. I mean, we're still paying back the loan we took out for your car. I, I feel for him. He's going through a lot. The discrimination, the hatred, everything. Like, I don't like this. I, f I, I feel like I feel like such a big failure. I feel like I've disappointed him as a father and disappointed you as, as a husband. Oh, you don't talk like that. You've been a wonderful husband to me and a great father to wear. Everything will be fine, trust me. I think I just have to go meet my uncle. See if he could help us anyway. Because I can't have a rich man as an uncle while my son suffers. No. Are you going to talk to your uncle? Mm hmm The uncle? I will talk of it. Maybe he could help. You never can tell. We just keep our fingers crossed. It's fine. It's okay. Hello, ladies. Mm -hmm. so, How can we help you? <clears throat> Sorry, um, <clears throat> I just cited for where I was sitting, and I thought chicks like you shouldn't be alone without a handsome guy like me. Wow, you know what? You can pick a number between 5 to 10. 5 to 10, yeah. 5 to 10, mm. 7. And that is the number of slaps you get if you don't get out of this place right now. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to offend you. You know what, fine boy? <laughs> I'm actually in love with you. Let me shut up. So please, shut up. Get out. Get out! Just get out! Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Uncle. Yes, Uncle, I, I, I called you in the morning, but I guess you were busy. Yes, I want to see you, Uncle. It's very important. Okay, which bank? All right, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Okay, thank you very much, Uncle. Bye. Um, Kim. Hey, uh, Yes. I, I, um, I have an urgent uh, call right now. So I, I think you should just cover up for me, please. I'll huh? do that. I won't be long, yes. all right? Okay then, thank you very much. <laughs> See ya. Uh, manager, uh, how are you? Fine. Uh -huh. I'm fine. Uh, I don't think I will have time to go inside. Uh, I will prefer let us discuss out here. Uh, because I have another important meeting somewhere. No problem. Uh -huh. uh, if it's that one, don't worry about her. Now my elder sister uh, daughter. Uh -huh. I told her to meet me here. So that from here we we'll go to somewhere. 
And like I said earlier on, uh, no too much wasting time. Let me go straight to the point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the 20 million that you people bullied me as a room uh, with all the interest inside. <laughs> you know, I told you I will return it in three months. And let's say, yeah. I must say I'm impressed, Chief. Uh, thank you very much. Um, you're truly a man of your word. Yes. I'm a man of my word and integrity. <laughs> and our bank will always be glad to work with you, Chief. Exactly. Banks are always rough to work with the <laughs> men of integrity <laughs> and the uh, successful men, <laughs> which I'm one of them. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. This room that you people gave me, okay. in fact, I made millions. Really, Chief? I'm telling you. I made me, I made so much money from this loan. Even now you can call me Mr. Money in the bank. <laughs> I better say you call me Itego. <laughs> One. <laughs> you come again. Yeah, okay, Chief. That's that's true. And, yeah, that reminds me, Chief. Um let me help call someone to help you put the remaining money in the Ghana must go into your account. Bano. Which money? My money into your bank. I'm bano. I, manager, have you forgotten so soon? When I came to collect this loan, you told me to bring Colata. And I brought the collateral. Yeah. Now you want me to put my remaining money in your bank. And you bring collateral. Without collateral, man, it won't work. You taught me that business. <laughs> are you listening to yourself, Chief? We are a bank, Chief. We are here to protect yeah, exactly. your money. You are a bank. I am Chief. And the money belongs to me. And I take it to any way I want to put it with the collateral. So you taught me this business. No collateral, no business. <laughs> yeah, I will see you some other time. Are you serious, Chief? <laughs> uh, nice doing business with you. Chief. Um, Sandra, yes, uh, yes. what is it that you have been following me around? Um, yes, Uncle. Uh -huh. Uncle, it, it, it's, uh, it's about your son, Rianne. And Uncle, we really need to do this corrective surgery on him because he, he's been discriminated against and other kids everywhere, they, they bully and, and taunt him. <coughs> Sandra, is this uh, why you have been following me around? Because of a liar? Yes, Uncle. Sandra, let me tell you, bullying and taunting does not kill any child. It's happening all around the world, and children are surviving it. Nothing will happen to Leanne. Stop worrying yourself. Oh, Uncle, please. It's really killing him slowly. Please. Um, Uncle, I promise to be paying you half of my salary every month. Please, Uncle, just help me, okay? <laughs> Until I'm able to, to pay you back all the money. Um, <laughs> Uncle, Sandler. please, Sandler, do, just see it as a loan Sandler. to save my life. Leanne is a very strong boy. Maybe you people don't know. That boy is a strong boy. He will survive the bullying. But the taunting, he will survive it. If that is why you've been following me around, stop it. In fact, um, Enya, start here, that vehicle. Have I don't deserve all this. <laughs> Why did I bring in a boy into this world for him to suffer? Why? <laughs> I can't stand him being hated and discriminated against for a, for a fault that is not his. I die inside of me each time I see him sad. He's dying slowly. Even my uncle, Chief Williams, is not even helping matters. He doesn't even want to help me. What have I done? <laughs> God, why? Please, please, God, why? <laughs>
Rian. Yes, Mom. We're not only giving this your food. Rian. What happened? Mommy, how old are babies when they are born? Nine months, of course. Why? So why do people say that they are dead when Rian, they are born? Now is not the time for questions. Remember Auntie Kemi promised to take you and her kids out to the beach today? Hmm? So you better go upstairs and go take your shower. Because they will soon be here. Hmm? Get going. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I guess it's your auntie calling me. Yes, Kemi, hi. Of course he's waiting. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. We're, we're waiting for you. All right, then. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. I told you, it's her. Be fast. How come I can't hear the water running? Brian, what are you still doing here? How come you're not taking your shower? I don't want to go out. I'm scared. Scared of what, my friends? No, not last time I'm coming in here. What? Who called you that? Teachers of the kids in school. The teachers? Those sons of... He came back home with a lot of assignments this weekend. I'm sorry. Maybe some other time, okay? Alright. Bye. First thing Monday morning, I will pay that school a visit. Come here. It's okay. There's no need to be scared, okay? Everything will be fine. Yes, listen to me, my dear. Using toothpaste for stain removal is very popular. Of course it is. Because it is a versatile cleaning agent. Suitable for cleaning walls. Yes. Carpets. Yes. Juries. Yes. And lots of other items. But before using toothpaste on a stain, it is best to be very sure that it does not damage the stain item. Yes. By first of all, testing on a part that is not very visible. Yes. Stains on fabrics and clothes can also be removed by simply scrubbing the affected area. Yes, not everything. With toothpaste and a cloth. Understood? <laughs> yes. You're welcome, my daughter. Let me know when you're done. Go ahead with it. Okay, then. Bye. Oh, sorry, madam, for keeping you waiting. Yes. No, no it, it's, it's okay. Like I was saying before, my son, Ryan has been complaining about being bullied by other kids. They mock the way he works, calling him the limping Ryan. They hate him for being the best student in school. They collect his food from him every day. The most annoying part of it all is that the teachers keep a blind eye on this whole atrocities. In fact, most times they encourage them. I've reported to the class teacher on so many occasions, but nothing seems to be done. Madam, I'm shocked at all this, honestly. I am. 
Rian is a very smart boy who deserves love and not hatred. He's an innocent boy that has done nothing wrong to anybody. The fact that he has a problem with the way he works doesn't make him a criminal, no! I promise you, the school authority will look into all you have said. This is a very prestigious school. I will keep working hard to keep it prestigious. Madam, my sincere apology once again. It's okay. Thank you very much. Let's go. Honey, mm -hmm. I spoke with my boss today and um, he says he's going to help me secure the loan. Mm -hmm. So he's asked me to fill the forms that he'll take them over to the head office. But I can only get um, a million naira. Honey. That's so thoughtful of you, but I really don't think it's necessary. Because you know we need more than one million naira for the surgery. And I wouldn't want a situation whereby, you know, we start spending from the one million while we're still looking for more money to complete it. It doesn't make sense to me. Well, I know, but what can I do? I can just sit back and just watch right and stuff like this. I have to keep doing everything I can to make sure that he goes through the surgery. I know. Oh my god. What is oh. it? Gosh. I didn't check Ryan's bag. Yeah. I don't know if the school authorities got any message for me. So I just have to go home. Okay? We'll be right back. That's my prince. Uh, so, how was school today? Fine. Mommy has to check your school bag. Do I have any message from school? No. No, let me check. Hmm. Oh. Man, this is empty. Did you actually finish your food? Or are those boys still... Collecting your food for me. I ate this mommy. Ah, good. Okay. Wow, that's a letter. Okay. Oh, this wisdom's birthday party this weekend. Wow. But how come the invitation is coming so late? Wow. Okay. I'll drop you off at Wisdom's house this weekend and while I go to Auntie Edith's house. Yeah? So, next month is your birthday. So tomorrow, we'll talk about what to get for you. Now it's time for you to sleep. You have to be in school tomorrow. Yeah? Okay! I have to leave you right now. Hmm? Time to sleep. No more reading. Hmm? Okay. Hide Sleep tight. Let's do a short prayer. Hmm? Close your eyes. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My turn. My turn. Hey, stop. What? Hey, hey, great. What do you really want for your birthday? 
Most of my classmates are coming to my bed day. So what else? Just that. Well. You know what? I'll make sure that your classmates come for your birthday, okay? In fact, we will make sure of that, okay? Of course. That's great. And we'll get you a nice gift for being the most intelligent kid in your school. <laughs> okay, back to it. Back to it. <clears throat> Together. Stop. Okay, I will. Stop. It's boys. Boys. Stop. Girls You're not hurting that boy, really. Girls not allowed right now. <laughs> Here are the invitations for Rian's birthday party. Thank you very much. I'll put them in Rian's classmates' school bag so it will get to the parents on time. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like when parents bring the invitations on time so it will be able to get to parents on time. They won't have any excuse not to bring their kids. Oh, I truly appreciate this, You're really. Welcome. You're welcome. This means so much to Ryan. Don't worry. The rest are assured. They're going to be there, okay? Okay. okay. All right then. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Do so have welcome. a nice day. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. And how is my little prince doing this morning? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy when they come up to Maybe after they'll forgive me and stop laughing at me. All I want is for them to love me. My classmates are not coming. They don't like me. Oh, of course they do. It, it's only half past eleven. I'm sure they're close by. Very soon they'll, they'll be here and they'll be running around just jumping up and playing with you. <laughs> I hope so. And after they'll stop laughing at me in the school. Oh, yes, they will. Of course. They will, okay?
Okay. Do you know there's something called big boxing? See, there's this big bo big boxing thing. It's like boxing where you fight people and punch them, or boxing day where you unwrap kids. It's like you use your mouth to make sounds, mm? like like that. Can you do that? Come on now. Excuse me. Mommy, are they not coming? Um, yes, they will still come. Huh? Let's just let's just wait. Yeah. So, see, it's really very interesting. You can do all sounds in the world with it. I mean, you can do the helicopter sound. You can do, okay, gun. You can do like an elephant. You can do anything. So, you know, come on, let me just teach you this little bit. Fiona, this is Sandra. What, what's going on? How come I've not seen you or any of your students in my son's birthday party? Rian is freaking out. Is everything all right? What? They are not coming? Fiona, why? Why didn't you call me to tell me? Oh no, oh no, Fiona, why? You didn't even call me to inform me. Look at Rian, he's freaking out. I thought it's part of your duty to lead your, the, 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 the students to their classmates' birthday parties. Oh no. But you've attended all, you've attended other people's birthday parties. Why, why, why would you want to skip Rian's own? Fiona, this is not fair. Fiona, this is not right. What has this innocent boy done to you? What? Hello? Hello? Fiona? Oh my God, I can't believe this! Can you imagine? This woman hung up on me. <sighs> Fiona, this is not your fault. Hello? Miss Alumi? <laughs> What's going on now? I've not seen your kid in my son's birthday party. Are you okay? What? He's not coming? Well, at least you should have called me to inform me. Okay. Okay, okay, that, 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 that's fine. All, all right, never mind. Hello? Madame Aloko? Yes, what's up now? <laughs> I'm here to see your son in my son's birthday party. Yes. What? How dare you say that to me? And how do you know they would, how do you know no one is going to come? But this is not right. My son attended every other person's birthday party, including yours. Oh, God. Hello? 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 Malabaloko? Okay, yes, good. She hung up on me, too. She hung up on me. <laughs> Yes, darling, I, I'm fine. Just, just, just go back to the sitting room and go sit with daddy, okay? I, I'll join you soon, yeah? Please, if I've done anything wrong to you, 
Please punish me. Punish me directly and not an innocent boy. How can you deal with the fact that everyone hates him just because of the way he works? God, this is not fair. This is not fair, my little baby. Please, this is not fair. and classmates won't come to his birthday because he was born with a defect that affects the way he works. God, God, I use God, beg you, please, please save my son from this humiliation, please. So babe, did he say call you? Yes, he did, Sophia. Well, that's not so romantic. I'll go away. <laughs> What's romantic about that? No, babe, seriously. If you go next week, I'll really miss no, you. No, 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 I'm not traveling again this week. <clears throat> Mommy asked me to change my ticket so that she and I can both travel to Dubai next month. Well, oh, that's great. There's nothing great about that. I was looking forward <laughs> to going to Dubai on, on my own. Ah, Dubai can wait for you. I think I like Mom's idea. That's good. <laughs> Oh wow, someone just posted something really touching on her timeline on Facebook. Some Sandra or KK, I don't even know how we became friends. You know what, let me read this to you, give me a minute. Hmm, she says, I'm, I'm sitting here alone, my heart tearing apart. My son Ryan is sitting alone with his birthday cake because his teacher and his classmates would not attend his birthday party. Ryan was born with a birth defect that affects the way he walks. God, I use God beg you, please save me from this humiliation. Wait, did she really say, God, I use God beg you? <laughs> Right? I know she did, but I think it's just from the pain in her heart. You mean this sort of discrimination still happens? Nigeria, Nigeria. I know this is so sad. And look, he's so cute. Oh. Why would anybody do this? <sighs> this is really so. You know, give me five minutes or ten minutes or something. Watch TV, whatever you want to do. I feel I need to show this to mommy. You just need to be aware of what's going on. It's terrible. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? No, Just, I'll be right back. Give me five minutes. I'll be right back, yes? Yeah, yes, yes. I use that thing. I'll be serious. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hi. Uh, Do you have a minute? I think I can spare that. Hey, Mom. Where is that? In his walking closet, as usual. Looking for his best race for the next meeting. We know you done with fashion. And you're cool. Okay, Mom. It's something some lady called Sandra or KK wrote on her timeline on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It was really touching, so I wanted you to hear it. Okay. Let me read it to you. My heart is tearing apart. My son Ryan is sitting here alone with his birthday cake because his teacher and classmates will not come for his party. He was born with a defect that affects the way he walks. God, I use God beg you. Please save me from this humiliation. Mom, did you hear that? God, I use God beg you. Who says that? She must have read this in deep bitterness. Right? What is so sad? So sad, dear. 
little boy. Mommy, it's okay if they don't call. I still have you and Dad. I'm quite impressed by this comment on Facebook. It shows that people actually do care. Yeah, but honey, do you think it was a good idea to post our home address on Facebook? Maybe I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was just so happy that she, she said I should send it. I was just desperate to have someone come, you know. I was just thinking straight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to hold myself back from not laughing, but God, I just got beg you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh. You see, the situation is something that I cannot stand for. <laughs> I appreciate it. And this is one of those um, yeah. projects and works that you can do and you can value that society. I think it's high time that um, something is being done about um, those people who have been marginalized in the society. Exactly. But the is exactly. And I'm glad that um, this is a special piece. And after that, we will also move into other pieces. Particularly in the banks and other institutions where you see disabled persons um, who are not allowed, who are disengaged because, oh, of, their yeah. because of their perceived oh, yeah. inability. And let the world know that there's stability in disability. It is important, it is critical. And um, I'm saying your government will be remembered for this um, wonderful, charitable work that you've done. God, God, I is going to make it. <laughs> Son, come. <laughs> Good. Look, we are here to celebrate you. Happy birthday to you. Hmm? Good. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Thank you. Yeah, my, my husband. My wife. Uh, Our son. Yes. Right. This Ryan. Our <laughs> yes. <laughs>
this is so amazing. It came as a surprise to me as well. Myself and Ryan's mom are friends on Facebook. And when I read what she wrote on her timeline today, what Ryan had been going through with his disability, the bullying and that it was his birthday, I ran straight to my mom to tell her about all of this. Unfortunately, she can't make it today. She had a meeting that she couldn't miss. I didn't know my daddy was listening and this was birth and I'm so touched. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, uncle. Ryan, happy birthday, love. You see, I was really touched. And I called my PA and instructed him. Which how does it work? attend this party but nobody told me that the governor and all this celeb will be there this useless okereke family and their nipping son what? how can they know all this dignitary and the governor i must find that and i'm also very happy that my friend chief Edmund is also here with us with some other people. Ryan, happy birthday. We've come to celebrate with you. <laughs> His Excellency, permit me to stand on existing protocol. I hope um, I don't need to introduce myself. And um, I do not wish to waste anybody's time. Having said that, um, when His Excellency actually told me about the story, I was touched. And now that I have seen little Ryan and his amazing family, I will do something. Your Excellency, with your kind permission, uh, permit me to say that um, Ryan will be moved to another school where no one will have the temerity and the intention or audacity to bully or intimidate anyone ever. Permit me to say that I want Ryan to be transferred and moved to Ambassador's International School. Ryan? Ryan? <laughs> The Ambassador's International School, it's for the billionaires. We, we, we don't have that kind of money, sir. Oh, come on. You don't have to worry. I will take care of um, Ryan's education from this moment onwards until he reads up to his um, PhD. <laughs> Ryan is also my son, so you have no problem. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Well, I would not sit here to be outdone by my good friend. His <laughs> <laughs> Excellency. Yeah. Yes. Ryan is a billionaire son, and he is also the son of the state. Yes, so the state, as a matter of urgency, will fly him to the United States of America for corrective oh, wow. Wow. And, uh, In Ryan's honor, the state will build a state-of-the-art hospital that will take care of people with such defects. Well, so that our people will no longer go abroad for treatments and uh, uh, corrective surgeries. 
<coughs> Your Excellency, sir, Chief Alobo, I greet you. Ladies and gentlemen, may I ask for your permission to stand on the exiting protocol. Ryan, um, we've decided, me and my family, to give you a surprise. Um, we just completed our estate along Akiri Beach. And okay. On behalf of my wife and I, we have decided to give you one duplex out of the 300 units yesterday. Wonderful. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so, much. Thank you so, much. Thank you so very much. I thank each and every one of you so much for coming here in the first place. There the, are the, the, the no words that can describe how I feel inside of me. Uh, uh, we, we, on behalf of my family, we thank you. Just, just thank absolutely you. appreciate you. Thank you, thank you so, so much. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Sorry that I came late, you know. As a good friend, no matter what, I must come to the party. I know, I know. But the truth is, everywhere is filled. Hmm? Ah, my good friend. You can't do this to me now. Oh. Okay, let me sit outside, even at the entrance of that door, so that I can be looking into the I the party. know, I understand. I, I wish I can, I can really help you, but I'm sorry. I wish I can fix you up somewhere, even if it's the toilet or the corridor or the kitchen, anywhere at all. But really, everywhere is filled up, so tight, you know, with VIPs. You can ah. do something. I know you can do something. You know, I would like to meet with the governor mm. and Shifalamo. Do you know that Shifalamo is one of the richest in Africa and beyond? Oh, yeah. I know, I know. That is true. Very true. Huh? But really, uh, you, you won't be able to see the governor this year. Maybe next year. Huh? I may invite you up for his next year's um, party. That is if you're able to clean up your act and make sure you advise your son to stop being a Really? Hmm? So if you
<laughs> oh, hi Fiona. Yeah. I'm fine. It's so nice to see you all today. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. How are you? Oh, I'm great as you can see. <laughs> I decided to call you outside first okay. to offer a sincere apologies for coming late oh. before going into the party. Oh, <laughs> we saw on TV that the governor is around. Mm -hmm. um, Did you mention that the governor and people like Chifalomo will be attending? <laughs> <laughs> the school authority would have gladly hosted the event in the school hall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A privilege which has never been extended to any students. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Sandra, yes. did you mention to the governor that your son is a student of a prestigious school. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, how can I ever forget? <laughs> of course I did. Well, mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I told him about all the discriminations by teachers like Fiona. The hatred. The bullying by favored students. And all the atrocities going on in your prestigious school. But St. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Wait. The governor also promised that he would see to it, that he would investigate all the atrocities and discriminations and malpractices going on in your prestigious what? schools. Sandra, no. Call me Mrs. Okeke, my dear. It's okay, Mrs. Okeke. It has not gotten to this. It may lead to this school being closed permanently. Oh. Hand me the letter. Um. These are the special privileges. Okay. The school has decided to accord Mighty Ryan when he resumes <laughs> next week. Wow. Oh wow, these are amazing privileges, really. Did you notice that the school has changed its stance? Mighty Ryan will be representing our prestigious school in the African Quiz competition in South Africa. <laughs> Yeah. And Ryan would have been so thrilled to be treated like a VIP by your prestigious school. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but honestly, um, this won't be necessary. Why? No. Why? Because Ryan, my son, will be moving to the Ambassador's International School. Oh, Sorry. Ambassador's? Yes. That can't be possible. Mm -hmm. Ambassadors is for serious children. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yes, I know that. But the truth is, all thanks to your heartless discriminations and humiliations, oh. Fiona. But you know what? Rian is now a billionaire's son. <gasps> yes. Wow. I would have loved to let you all know who this Bilonia is this man that has agreed to finance Rian to PhD level anywhere in the world mm -hmm. or to let you people know where our new house is located or to let you know who this Bilonia that has agreed to send Rian to the States for his corrective surgery. Wow. But since you all are not watching the party on the TV, I would advise you all to Take a chill pill and wait up for tomorrow when the newspapers will be out. Because all the juicy details will be in there. Yes. My Rian is now a celebrity. Oh yes. He will be in the papers for you all to read. <laughs> the young boy you all rejected will be in the papers tomorrow. So if you all wouldn't mind, I have guests waiting people that matters in the society, people of importance, people of high caliber, if you know what I mean. So, just wait up for the papers tomorrow, okay? So, wait up for tomorrow, okay? Wait up for the papers. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Sandra. Yes. So no, no, keep, keep working, keep working. Alright then, wait up for tomorrow's papers, okay? Bye! <laughs> oh my god. Can you believe this? <laughs> Ten million. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
and we've not even opened the melting of presents downstairs in the living room. Goodness, you ran. You are a blessing to mommy and daddy. You just changed our lives. You, oh God! You, my son, will be a blessing to the whole world. I swear! Oh, oh we love you. Oh my God! Thank you. Yes. Yes. Oh jeez. Funny. What is it? Go ahead, he's got a big. <laughs> oh my god, he didn't just say that, did he? Did you just. Hey! Little boy, hello! What? Huh? God, I just got big, you all. <laughs> Disrespected yeah. 